Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media. Today we are here with a late edition of This Week in EDM. Songs that came out this past week in EDM, the dates are here. And uh, we're just going to kind of hop into it right away. There was uh, quite a few songs this week, but we're going to look at 23 new songs that came out this week in EDM. Starting with the trash category songs I think are just bad, straight up bad. Uh, we've got Out of the Sky by Blaster Jacks and Buse. Uh, I am so incredibly tired uh, of this good boy's house style. The synths are lifeless, the beats are boring as humanly possible, uh, and the whole time, yeah, I don't know, this whole niche of sound just lost its luster after the first month of that what good boy's and Medusa song. I, I, I'm just, I'm done with this. I'm done with the style of music. Uh, up next, Forever and Always by Armin Van Buren Gareth Emery featuring Owl City. Uh, I think this track is just awful. Uh, the beat is derivative and linear. It's one of Owl City's worst vocal performances, I think. Um, and it's just mixed in such a bad way, both the vocals of Owl City and the whole track. I just, I don't get it. I've not been personally a fan in the past of like the hard style anyways, so maybe that's just that's just me, but not not a fan, so... As we head into the bad category songs, I think you're just bad. Uh, Name Drop by Excision and Wooly. Uh, definitely a big room bro step sound here meant for festivals, and I don't particularly relate to that a whole ton. Uh, but the song is just kind of nothing until the drops. It just has this weird part where it's just trying to do something different, and it's it just doesn't. It's just weird. Uh, the, the off drop sections and the drops sound like two totally different songs. It just, I don't know, weird song to me didn't didn't work at all. Up next, we've got Popular by M.I.A. Uh, reggaeton beat with a pretty bad vocal performance, not gonna lie. Uh, the past two tracks, this one included from M.I.A., uh, definitely are, is not a return to great form, I would say. Um, I'm <laughs> I'm anticipating some better performances here from M.I.A. Uh, with this upcoming album, uh, potentially, so. Next up, we've got uh, Give It All by Leah Culver. A pretty uninteresting song for me. I loved her last one a whole ton. Um, uh, but uh, I don't know. The, the drop is, is fairly lifeless and linear. Again, uh, vocal performance is fairly dull. And I know she can do really well. I know she can give it a hundred and bajillion percent. And so I just, I don't know. This one didn't, this also didn't work for me. So. So you head into the math category, and there's quite a few for this week. Uh, we've got Float Away by Elohim and Nitty Gritty. Uh, it's a carefree track, uh, very commercial future-based sound. Reminds me a lot of the Chainsmokers, actually, but um, but better than the Chainsmokers. So if you like the Chainsmokers, I think you'll like Float Away here. Up next, we've got Temporary Love by Half an Orange. Um, they've, I've sort of fallen out of love with Half an Orange over the years. I loved them when they first came on the scene with Monster Cat, and uh, I... Yeah, I really appreciated them, but not so much nowadays. Um, this is a synthwave nostalgic sounding track, uh, but still has their signature sound and vocals to it. And uh, I just think their style just isn't for me anymore. So that's what's just here in May. Next, we've got uh, Here For Now by Francis Durrell, Cray Mac, and Josh Rubin. Uh, fairly well put together melodic bass song, uh, but it just sounds so same, same for me. I haven't loved melodic bass and melodic dubstep as of recent, and um, I don't know. I, I, I do applaud the non-drop sections for this. I think it gave the track a ton of life, but the, those drops are just, they just feel so, so same, same is the best way to put it over every other melodic bass song I've heard, so. Up next, uh, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want you by Ramesses B. Um, the offbeat. It's got a weird offbeat here that is side chained uh, in a really odd way, and it just makes it like. Dun -dun 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 -dun. It's just like a. It's. I don't know. It's the mixing off side side chaining is a little strange to me. Um, I, you may love it for that, but I, I just didn't, it's, it's too emphasized on the beat and it's just side chained a little too much. Um, but, uh, when it kind of gets off of that main drop section and it's the second half of the drop, it does a lot better, I think, um, when it's a little more toned down, but I don't know, kind of an odd song that I don't really know how I feel about it fully, but yeah. Up next, we've got Shank by Riot. Uh, the new era for Riot is kind of here, a kind of soft reboot for them. They went all black and they said, this is the new era of Riot, so... Uh, but uh, this is not at all like Riot of the Past. Uh, it's a comparatively minimalistic track compared to what they've done in the past. Um, and stylistically, it's a very empty dubstep sound. Um, and it's it's really not for me. I, I kind of appreciate it, but it's really not for me. So we head into Slow Motion by Bensley. A uh, new double-sided single on uh, UKF here. A very laid-back, uh, kind of chilled DNB. Not a lot really happening. Um, but uh, if you want something to just kind of vibe to, some DNB to just chill... Uh, this is this is your track. 
And then Satisfaction by David Guetta and Benny Benassi. Um, they they redid the mega hit from 2011. I Why? Like, it's a little bit different from the original, but it's not a whole ton different from the original. And what they did change to the original, it makes the song worse. So, like, yeah, I, I love the original Satisfaction, but I, I, I just don't know why the song is it had to be redone, honestly. But Up next, we've got Secrets by Mern featuring Jordan Hearn. Um, a fun, simple, light uh, dance track here. It's a great background track, similar to Slow Motion by Bensley. Uh, but it's not something I would really go and intentionally play for, but something I definitely added to my kind of chill background playlist immediately. Uh, but uh, sol solid song. So. so we head into Drift Away by Have and I'm All Right. Uh, solid D&B with a kind of drum step first half on both of the drops. One that, a track that I would probably honestly consider to be drum step. Um, it's got that deep kind of metallic sound that, uh, Have is kind of, I would, I would say known for. It's a sound I've, I've heard a lot from, from them, but, uh, yeah, I, I liked it, but didn't, didn't love it. So, yeah. Then we've got Black Velvet by Infected Mushroom featuring Nanette Tayeb. Uh, it's a cover of originally Black Velvet by uh, Anila Miles, I believe I'm saying that. It's like kind of pseudo rock with a bit of blues and then electronic hits on this Infected Mushroom take. Um, very unique track for Monster Cat, the one that I claim to be the most unique track on Monster Cat ever. Uh, I appreciate the sound, but uh, it's it's really not my style. So that's why it's just, uh, just here in meh. So we head into the good category songs I think are pretty solid. Uh, we've got In My Head by Zed's Dead and MKLA. It's a dark house cut here. Uh, great sound design, uh, but it could be could be longer. It could be longer, and that's my only real gripe with it. As we move on to Enough by Eminence and Bloomline featuring She Is Jewels. Uh, really great chill house track here with some solid vocals. Uh, although this is on proximity, um, this is the kind of Monster Cat silk, silk style that I really enjoy. Uh, it's not too heavy on the beat and more kind of a free-flowing, smooth production. So I uh, really like that new track from Eminence. Uh, next up, we've got Make It Happen, the Don Dollar remix, uh, originally by Rufus to Soul. Uh, the Surrender Remix Package is out now if you want to listen to all of that. Uh, one of the more subtle remixes here compared to some of the other ones on this list. Um, bringing the tone uh, of the song down to a kind of darker place, uh, which does highlight the vocals, the original vocals, a lot more. Uh, it's a great track, I think primarily because the original is so good. So that's why it is here in good. Up next, we've got Guiding Light by Eddie and Vosicians. I'm not sure, Vosicians? I still, not, still don't know how to say that. But uh, long buildup uh, with a solid payoff, I would say. I'm really liking these Mousetrap songs that uh, Eddie's been putting out. These kind of uh, two, three song EPs. Uh, this is the type four or four, so I'm not sure if this is going to be a greater compilation or album at some point. But um, it's a refreshing mix up in structure of song, especially in the EDM realm of today. So uh, I really liked Guiding Light. So. So we move on to Change by Super Shy and Tom Mish featuring Wayne Snow. Uh, definitely a critics style track, uh, something that reminds me a lot of early days of Disclosure. Uh, high quality Deep House uh, that's a pad, tad repetitive, but uh, just honestly also great. And uh, this is the house that I, I enjoy. So, And uh, next up, we've got Turn On The Lights, the Zavi remix, which is by Kill The Noise, Trent Monroe, Just Do, and Spencer Ludwig. Uh, the Embrace reanimated package is out now, uh, which is the Kill The Noise um, album, so it's the whole remixes stuff together. Uh, and honestly, I, I love Zavi. This remix is fantastic. Uh, it was a great take on the original, which I thought was okay. Uh, so it just really, it added that much needed punch, I think, to the original track. So, uh, that's that. As we move into our penultimate track of the week, we've got Falling Down by Direct and Kuziki. Uh, the Forms All Nighter Volume 7 is out now. For those of you that don't know, this is a compilation where anyone could make a song in the 24 hours of the kind of charity event, and uh, they would pick some of the best to be on the compilation. So 44 songs made it in the end, over two and a half hours of music. Uh, and so it's uh, it's a great compilation. Um, I haven't listened to all of it yet, or not even most of it, honestly. But uh, this track in particular, Falling Down by Direct and uh, Kuziki, uh, is a cutesy kind of garage style track. And uh, I just love the ending. i big fan, so I don't want to, I don't know. It's it's simple, and I, and I love it. And our best track of the week is Spiraling Out by Charlie featuring Amia. Uh, this is the, I, I think, a post-peak EP, technically, by by Charlie. Um, for those of you that don't know, Charlie is Dumu's alias. Dumu uh, has, has finished that alias and is working. Charlie's been kind of in the background the whole time. So um, this is Dumu. 
Uh, but uh, yeah, I just love the way that Charlie can put together this kind of chill track that still has an intensity to it and and a volume dynamicism that you don't find in the kind of more chill tracks like these. And uh, he just he just does it so well. And I love the vocals. So, uh, but that's it. That's been it. That's been it for this week in EDM. Let me know what you think of these tracks in the comment section below. But other than that, I've been Botay Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.